This is the number one non-Raycast feature that a lot of Raycast users use. And I'm doing the HyperKey hyper key R for Raycast. Map to Hyper A. We've been teasing that for a while in our videos. Hyper One. Hotkeys to open your favorite Hyper F could be a great option. And it got a lot of people confused. Well, today we're finally gonna make all of these people happy. And it's really simple. It's just a toggle. So this video is gonna be super short. So even before this release, hyperkey means that you press all four modifier keys together. So Shift, Control, Option, Command, and then some other key. You could use this for window management, for example, by pressing Shift, Control, Option, Command, Left, to trigger the left half command. Now, what a lot of people have been doing without Raycast is that they get a third-party app like Carabiner Elements that has the ability to remap certain keys of your keyboard to make it fire all four modifier keys together, thus making that the hyper key. In other words, it's as if you're manually pressing Shift, Control, Option, Command at the same time, but that can get a little bit messy. So instead, you choose another key of your keyboard, which will fire all of those four hot keys for you. Of course, apps like Carabiner Elements have a ton of other capabilities that you can customize your keyboard to do really complex stuff. You should watch the What's in My Raycast we did with Max Stoiber. Crazy stuff. But that's for really advanced power users. For most people, like you and me, all that we really need is the ability to map those four modifier keys to another key. So we have more hotkeys available to us, but also so we can have less conflicts with shortcuts from different apps. So if you've never heard of such a thing, but now you're interested, you can now do it all just with Raycast. It's really simple. If you open Raycast and search for advanced settings, you see there's a new section over here. Before, you could already set it so Raycast would display the hyper key as a little star, even if you were using a different app. Now, it's as simple as picking which key to use as a new hyper key in this dropdown. I'm gonna set mine as caps lock, and that's what I recommend you do as well. You can see here that Raycast is smart enough to recognize that a quick press should still treat it as caps lock instead of hyper key. So you basically get two for one. If you hold caps lock and then press another key, your hyper key shortcut will be fired. If you just press it once, you can still scream at people. I told you it was gonna be easy. Now, I've been using option and a letter for my app hotkeys, but now they've got this extra key, I'm gonna try switching them to hyper key instead, so I can get a whole extra layer of combinations available, but also, like I said before, a lot less conflicts. I just open Raycast and search for extension settings, and I can use this little filter to show only the commands I've modified. Under applications, all I have to do is replace these hotkeys with a hyper key by selecting them and pressing caps lock and a character. And you see the little star shows up. And that's it. Now, all I have to do is give it a few days for my muscle memory to kick in and then I should be good to go. And I can already think of a few commands and quick links that could use a new hotkey now that option is free. Let us know if you've tried this feature and what you're gonna use your hyperkey for. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more tips and news about Raycast.